Iron Man has his red and gold suit, Thor's got a big hammer, but Captain America's shield is one of the most recognizable symbols in the MCU. The red, white, and blue circle is not just a form of protection, but in the right hands, also a powerful weapon, and like the rest of the franchise, the shield evolved over the years. I'm Greg Elliott with Screen Rant, and here's every shield that Steve has used as Captain America in the MCU, and what happened to each one. The first shield that Steve ever took into battle was a prop from his USO Tour costume in Captain America The First Avenger. After being denied active duty, Steve toured around to promote war bonds and carried a traditional heater-shaped steel shield painted with stars and stripes. It wasn't anything fancy, but it's handier than you might think, and this is the shield that he used during his mission to rescue the Allied soldiers in Austria, including his best pal Bucky. It was dented and damaged during his first fight with Hydra's commander Johann Schmidt, who as we know went on to become the Red Skull, and it was this that led Steve to eventually pick up the shield that we all recognize. Later in the first Avenger, when Howard Stark is showing Steve some replacement options for that first shield, Steve notices one that, because it was a prototype, Howard wasn't even planning on showing him, even though it was clearly the coolest one of the bunch. That's it made of. Vibranium. That's the rarest metal on Earth. It's completely vibration absorbent. What you're holding there, that's all we've got. This shield would go on to become Cap's primary one for most of the MCU, using it in the Avengers, Captain America Winter Soldier, Avengers Age of Ultron, where it got some cool magnetic upgrades, and Captain America Civil War. It got pretty scratched up in Civil War and Steve abandoned it, but Tony held on to it, repaired it, and gave it back to Steve in Avengers Endgame, and this is the shield that he used until Thanos completely destroyed it during the battle at the Avengers compound. And here's one you might not be aware of unless you were paying very close attention. In Spider-Man Homecoming, Happy Hogan mentioned that Tony had designed a new prototype shield for Captain America. And thanks to concept designer Fausto Martini's Instagram, we actually know what that prototype would have looked like. It was described to him as a, quote, magnetic shield that could attract metal as a directional force field, and it does bear just a bit of resemblance to Iron Man's arc reactor from Iron Man 1. It's a shame that we never got to see it, but the dual retractable mini shields designed by T'Challa and Shuri that Steve used in Infinity War were still pretty cool. And finally, we've got the alternate timeline version of the shield that Steve gives to Sam at the end of Endgame. Remember, Cap's shield was totally destroyed by Thanos, so the one that old Steve pulls out is actually the original Vibranium shield, but from the new timeline where he went back to live a full life with Peggy Carter. It's pretty likely that this is the one that will feature in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but who knows what might happen in the show. Maybe we'll get to see that magnetic prototype after all. Now, in the comics, Captain America has used dozens of different shields over the years, including a very shiny one made of adamantium, one corrupted by Dormammu with serrated edges, and even one made of a flexible plasma matrix. And let's not even get started on that plastic see-through one from the Captain America TV movies from the 1970s. But his MCU shields have all been pretty solid, and we definitely haven't seen the last of that iconic red, white, and blue circle on screen. We'll keep you up to date on anything else we learn relating to Cap or the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so keep coming back to Screen Rant to stay in the loop on all things Marvel. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'll see you next time. Peace.